106.7. Good morning, 511. Dave Tyler with you. We have another full hour of Orlando's hottest hits. Kick it off with Johnny Gill on XL 106.7. Fifty-two. Count them, count them. Fifty-two minutes of the best music mix this hour. Mix 105.1. Almost. Morning Shoe with the Bobs. Bob Kelly and Bob Church comes your way at 530. Stay here for that. You show the signs of life, but it's sorrow. Oh, my goodness. That is Phil Collins and his latest from Serious Hits Live on Florida's Best Rock 100 WDIZ. Wrapping up a half hour of nonstop rock and roll. I'm Ron Lewis. DIZ Morning Show. Baxter Mark will be in in about 20 minutes from now. Coming up, the U2, the Kinks. Right now, some classic rock and roll from Elton John on Florida's Best Rock 100 WDIZ. Jay Roberts will be at uh, Furman Chevrolet this Saturday from 1 till 4. The Furman team has super deals on new and used Chevrolets, and Jay will have WQIK freebies and free Lupton's Fat Man's Barbecue for you. Furman Chevrolet on Highway 16, Brandon, between I-75 and 301. Our Gulf scan weather partly cloudy today, the high near 80, partly cloudy tonight. It's got a 30% chance of rain, low in the low 60s right now. 66 in Tampa, 65 St. Pete and the Gulf Beaches. And at the WQIK 99 Gulf Scan Weather Station, it's 64, music from Kenny Rogers on WQIK. WMMO and something from Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Elton John with Gray Seal and Chris Isaac did Wicked Game just in front of that one. That's Paul Resnick. Time for me to slide on out of here. The old stumble, uh, stomach is grumbling. I can't pronounce words anymore. That means it's time to go. I'm going to leave you in the capable hands of Tom Daniels, who's next. Have yourself a great day, and we'll get together and talk at midnight. Here's the Eagles and Victim of Love on 98.9 WMMO. <laughs> is not even up yet, but hopefully when it comes up, this nice weather we've been having will continue. It's perfect for uh, raising, and Speed Week's 91 is continuing. Right now at 520, Jennifer Jones has the latest with the 98 Frog News update for this hour. It's 62 degrees in Daytona Beach. The indications from President Bush are that any ground war launched by U.S.-led troops in the Persian Gulf is at least one week away. Bush says he will not make a decision until his top military advisors visit Saudi Arabia. Osteen residents won a fight to kill plans for a large subdivision in their community, but also lost a fight to control traffic increases in Walt Disney. Disney Studios says the voice of Mickey Mouse for 30 years is dead at age 84. We'll have details on all these stories and more in the cash. Three numbers at 550. Somebody yesterday told me this is National Weather's Day. It, yesterday right. was National Weatherman's Day. Yeah. And uh, they were making fun of your, your weather uh. fork, yeah. <laughs> so that damn girl can't get it right. I said uh. partly <clears throat> cloudy, which means some clouds, some sun. And it was mostly sunny. Mm -hmm. A few clouds. Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't predict any rain. It didn't if you rain. Got, if you got it right yesterday, that was one of the first times. Thank you. And um, <coughs> Well, it was National Weatherman's Day. Yeah, it was National Weatherman's Day. And I didn't Day. get any presents or nothing. Well, yeah, big holiday, yeah. and yet Jen was disregarded. So yep. uh, it was kind of <coughs> tough. It ain't easy. It ain't easy working around here, folks. On a Wednesday morning, uh, did you see where Dr. Ruth? <coughs> I'm the love doctor on the home front, <laughs> but Dr. Ruth is the real love doctor. Dr. Dr. Ruth Westheimer. And uh, she's over in uh, Israel right now. Is she really? She's studying the effects of the Scud missile attacks, <laughs> um, the lame Scud missile attacks from the camel jockeys on the uh, on the Israelites, and and what effect this is having on their sex life. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's and I, to I could just see uh, this old man and woman there saying, "It was great. I heard fireworks." <laughs> It was like a <laughs> missile. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's what's happening this morning. Um, Iraq is pretty much at a standstill. If you was watching the news last night and keeping up with the wire this morning, uh, they ain't got no gasoline over there, folks. We have kicked their uh, Iraqi ass. And uh, the thing about it is right now, the whole country is at a standstill. Maybe they are starting to realize that they picked the wrong nation to jack with. Mm -hmm. Maybe the next time they get to feeling real hot and feel like they, they need to express their self, Maybe they won't do it with the United States of America. So uh, things are getting very close here. Apparently, uh, we have just uh, 
We have no idea what's going on. But the reports are that we've put some serious damage on these people's heads, on the Iraqi Republican Guard, on a whole bunch of them. Saddam Hussein is not in control. If the ground fighting starts, and there's a good chance that if any chemical weapons are used, it would be a decision made by the uh, the different platoon leaders out in the field, mm -hmm. the Iraqi leaders, because they're cut off from the, the main command. So uh, I, I'm into this thing that George Bush is calling for possible war crime trials, uh, if any are used. So that should be a, a little bit of a deterrent for him, too. Things appear to be going pretty good here. We're keeping a close eye on this uh, wire because I think uh, the ground action could start at about any moment here. So we're watching it this morning, and we'll keep you updated as the morning goes on. Uh, taking a look at the weather forecast, it's been very nice, and it looks like uh, it should continue for the most part. A sunny day today, a high 80, only a slight chance of showers tonight, a low 60. In Port Orange and Bunnell, 60, 62 in Daytona Beach. 5, 23, 23 minutes after 5 o'clock. Time to get up and get with it. We're glad to have you along where the country sounds better on 98 Frog. XL 106.7 News. Good Wednesday morning. It'll be partly sunny today. I'm Pam Crosby. Here are the top stories. President Bush is pondering the Allies' next move in the Gulf War. He's sending his two top military advisors to Saudi Arabia this week to discuss the war with the commander of the U.S. troops. The next move likely would be a ground war, and the cornerstone of any land offensive to reclaim Kuwait may well be an amphibious assault. Pentagon sources say a U.S. Marine task force is maneuvering into position after a practice seaborne attack. U.S. military officials say an Iraqi officer who defected in Saudi 535 X Atlanta weather coming up. Hi, I'm Johnny Magic with the XL 106.7 Morning Zoo. Now, the United Negro College Fund is presenting 100 men who cook. And guess what? I'm one of them. Anyway, it takes place Saturday from 7 to midnight at the James R. Smith Recreation Center in Orlando. Now, for just $20 for adults, you get to eat what we cook. Good luck. No, seriously, though. Join us. The number to call is 425-3555 for more information. And I hope to see you there. Okay, John, XL Sports Shorts, Orlando Scott Skiles sat out 21 minutes of the first half with a pinched neck nerve, but he still finished the game with 23 points. The Magic nicked New York. Ah, 118 to 116. Well, pretty nice today. Partly sunny skies with high about 78, but look for a 40% rain chance tonight, 60% for Thursday. Right now, 64 degrees in Orlando. We'll have more news and traffic for you at 6 o'clock. Good morning. I'm Pam Crosby on the XL 106.7 Morning Zoo. Ah! Eight o'clock Saturday at Orlando Arena. The 1991 DIZ concert series continues. Well, the word's getting around. Only Volkswagen has that European. This is XL 106.7 WXXL Leesburg, Orlando. Good morning. I'm... The man who provided the high pitched voice of Mickey Mouse for 30 years has died. James McDonald is whose sound effects skills earned him a 40 year career with Walt Disney was 84. Heart failure is blamed for his death in California last Friday. Tops in the Nielsen's this week, the CBS Sunday night movie, Sarah Plain and Tall. Cheers was in second place, followed by the American Music Awards. The Simpsons got all the way up to 16th this week, but ha, Cosby was 11th at 6.04. XL and weather coming up. We're at the home of one of the largest families in Longwood. Nancy, you have nine kids. How do you do it? Well, I couldn't do it without Bernard. So your husband's a big help, huh? My husband? I can't get him off the couch. This is Bernard. Call for information, and thank you, XL, for caring. XL Sports Shorts, winners of the NBA last night, Atlanta, Detroit, Minnesota. To Dallas, Golden State, Phoenix, and the Lakers, and oh yeah, the Magic beat the Knicks, one eighteen to one sixteen. Hardly sunny skies today, with a high of about seventy eight. Forty percent chance of rain tonight, though, and sixty percent for Thursday. Right now, sixty four degrees in Orlando. We'll have traffic for you at six fifteen, and more news at six thirty. Good morning, I'm Pam Crosby.